In this lesson, we will compare linear functions and exponential functions. We will look at linear functions in slope-intercept form, which is the form f of x equals mx plus b, and exponential functions in general form, which is the form f of x equals a times b raised to the power of x. To begin, let's look at the table of values for f of x equals two x, which is a linear function, and f of x equals two raised to the power of x. Notice for both tables we are using the same x values. The x values start at negative one, increase by one, until they reach a value of three. For the linear function, when x is negative one, the corresponding function value or output is two times negative one, which is negative two. When x is zero, the function value is two times zero, which is zero. When x is one, the function value is two times one, which is two, and so on. So notice how the function values or outputs for the linear function are negative two, zero, two, four, and six. And now for the exponential function, when x is negative one, the corresponding function value is two raised to the power of negative one, which is one half. When x is zero, the function value is two raised to the zero power, which is one. When x is one, the function value is two times one, which is two, and so on. Notice how the outputs or the function values for the exponential function are one half, one, two, four, and eight. Let's see if we can recognize a pattern for the outputs for the linear function as well as the exponential function. So again, looking at the outputs of the linear function, we have negative two, zero, two, four, six. Notice how the function values increase by two each time x or the input increases by one. This is an important property of linear functions. And for the exponential function, we have the outputs of one half, one, two, four, eight. Notice how the function values double or are multiplied by a factor of two each time the x value or input increases by one. Again, this is an important property of exponential functions. So for linear functions, we can say the function values increase or decrease by the same amount over equal increases of the inputs. Again, for this function, the outputs are increasing by two each time x increases by one. And the constant amount of change is determined by the slope in the form f of x equals mx plus b, and notice our slope here is two. And for exponential functions, we can say the function values increase or decrease by the same percentage or factor over equal increases of the inputs. Again, we noticed here the function values were doubling or being multiplied by a factor of two each time x increased by one. And the percent of change or factor is determined by the base b in the form f of x equals a times b raised to the power of x. Notice here our base is two. Also remember every time we find a function value, we are finding a point on the graph of the function. Notice how the corresponding points for each function are listed in the third column. Now let's look at the graphs of these two functions. Here we have the linear function, and here we have the exponential function. Notice for the linear function, when the slope m is greater than zero, the function is increasing. Here the slope is two, and notice how the function is increasing because it is going uphill from left to right. The domain is all real numbers, and so is the range. And notice for the exponential function, the function is also increasing, but it is behaving differently. For exponential functions, when the base b is greater than one, the function will be increasing, which we call exponential growth. And the domain is all real numbers, but notice how the range is the open interval from zero to infinity, or y is greater than zero. Before we go, let's compare two more functions. Let's compare f of x equals negative two x, and f of x equals one half raised to the power of x. Once again, notice how the inputs increase by one each time, Looking at the corresponding outputs for the linear function, notice how now, because the slope is negative two, the function values are decreasing by two each time x or the input increases by one. And for the exponential function, notice how because the base is one half, every time the input or x increases by one, the function values are multiplied by one half or divided by two each time. And again, let's use the corresponding points and graph both functions. Notice how now for f of x equals negative two x, the function is decreasing because the slope is less than zero or negative, but the domain and range stay the same. And for f of x equals one half raised to the power of x, 
because the base b is between 0 and 1, the function is now decreasing. We call this exponential decay. The domain is all real numbers, and again the range is the open interval from 0 to infinity, or y greater than 0. I hope you found this introduction helpful. Thank you for watching.